Okay, guys, so I was going to open this, but I forgot in the last video. So, anyway, uh, so this is my first bottle ever of something called Glen Kinche, which I thought was Japanese, but apparently it's Scottish. Yeah, that's bizarre. Huh? Anyway, this is the uh, this is the bottle. Now I don't have a shot glass or a proper whiskey glass here, but you know, I want to my new my new thing, and I, and I think you should adopt this as you get older. You know, um, when I was younger, I used to I tended to hold off and wait to do things like oh I'm gonna save like 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 even just an article of clothing like I'm gonna save this T-shirt I'm gonna save this save this for a special occasion. But you know, these days you never know you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. So that special occasion may never come. <laughs> <laughs> and you know why not just enjoy uh, enjoy whatever enjoy things as soon as possible why not you know why put things off you know? I mean imagine you were dying and you thought oh I never wore my favorite t-shirt that would suck right so anyway so here we go ready okay let me try this and just try a little bit okay hold on That is a beautiful sound. You gotta admit, that is a beautiful sound. Okay. Let's put the let's put the cork back in. And cheers. Yeah. Uh, before I taste it, mmm, it smells dark. It smells rich and old and musty. Mmm. Not fruity at all. 43% alcohol, but pretty smooth. Wanna try some? 43% alcohol. Hmm. You know, uh, that's one thing that I learned to do is how to drink whiskey. It takes time. Ah, 43% alcohol. When I was a kid, this would have made me choke. Barf or something. Uh, that's good. Yeah, it really, really warms my throat, my throat all the way down to my stomach. I can actually visualize this like lava going down, burning my chest. Is it good? Like alien blood. Like, oh, I spilled my, I spilled my chest. What a slob. Okay, excuse me. It's good. I don't know what it tastes like. Um, I'm not good at describing things, but it's a good, I don't, it's not really fruity or anything. It doesn't have a distinctive taste, but it has a rich, clean taste. And it's smooth as hell, as you can tell. It's 43% alcohol, but I'm- Japanese description, nomiyasui. Nomiyasui, nomiyasui, easy to drink. Huh, well that's true. It is easy to drink. A dry, well this is, this is, this is the, what the box says. A dry, yeah, it's dry. A dry, that, that, I wanted to say neutral, but neutral doesn't seem positive, right? But it doesn't have this overbearing, okay, so I bought the, you guys know I like Knob Creek whiskey, and I made the mistake of buying like some honey flavored Knob Creek, because everyone said, oh, it's popular, try that, but it tasted just like honey. I, t I felt like I was cheating, like I wasn't drinking actual whiskey. Or bourbon. Anyway, this is a dry, refined character born just 20 miles from Scotland's capital. Naturally makes Glen Kinchy the Edinburgh malt. Edinburgh, I don't know how to say that. It's aromatic smoothness. That's the first thing, it's right before I drank it, I noticed the smell, so I stopped, right? The aromatic smoothness uh, brings to mind cut flowers and creamy lemon cheesecake. Really? Hold on. <laughs> okay, I can see that. Cut flowers, yeah, cut flowers. That's what it was. It didn't, it didn't um, smell sweet, but it sm smelled, smelled good. Yeah, I wanted to say something like, uh, like green tatami, which didn't make any sense. But, but cut flowers. That's good. Lemon cheesecake. That's <laughs> bizarre. Lemon cheesecake. I could see pouring this on lemon cheesecake. And then eating the cheesecake. I think it would go very well with lemon cheesecake. Crisp and focused with a with an herbal drying finish. This is an ideal aperitif. And partner to smoked fish, sushi, or scallops. That's why it's popular in Japan. 
It goes very well with sushi or scallops or dried fish. Yeah. I can see that, yeah. Hmm. And there you go. The um, the moronic uh, tasting of Glen Kinchet. 12 year, 12 year old uh, Scottish single malt uh, whiskey. Yeah, you know, a single, single, a single malt whiskey is um, a bit risque or risky to, to buy, not risque. <laughs> risky. It's not sexual. It's risky because it's got just basically one solid taste. So if it's not a taste you like, then you're kind of stuck with it. But if it's blended, then it mixes all these other uh, tastes, tastes into something that's a little bit more palatable. But I'd say uh, you made a good choice. How did you how did you choose this? You don't know anything about Hunch. whiskey. Hunch. Hunch. <laughs> Good luck. You're very lucky. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Ugh. Ah, yeah, that's strong stuff. Mm. Try, yeah, try, try, try a little bit. We need to destroy. Bye bye. Yeah, bye.